shoes to tires to an army of rubber ducks. But what do all of these things have in common? The answer is rubber. But where did it come from? How did it get here? When did it get here? This is our big history project. To answer all of these questions, we must first look to the stars. Stars for billions of years have come and went. It is here where we find the true origins of rubber. In the formation of stars in chemical elements, natural rubber is made of polymer isoprene, five carbon atoms and eight hydrogen atoms, which were all created when the star undergoes a process called supernova. So, how did all of the elements get to Earth? Well, obviously, Earth has to be formed. That's enough debris of elements accumulate from nearby supernovas, eventually enough debris collected and mashed together to orbit around the Sun, resulting to planet Earth. But keep in mind that early Earth wasn't the ideal surface to sustain life due to it being a literal giant ball of carbon dioxide and magma. But a billion years later, it finally cooled down, being able to support the life of a para rubber tree. The first documented use of rubber was in the 1600s in Mesoamerica, where the Olmecs tapped the trees for their sap to create the first form of actual rubber. They used this rubber to play a ball game for ritual purposes. Later on, though, the European explorers colonized this area, taking samples of rubber trees back to the motherland, creating a huge boom. But how has rubber changed over time? You see, at first rubber wasn't very workable. It did not have good consistency or elasticity. That means it can trust the revolutionized form of rubber. Thanks to wires and gloves, to tires and sports Rubber has impacted our history.